My name's James Newen. I am based currently in Nam, Melbourne. I guess my practice is primarily based on collaboration, on having lots of conversations and dialogue with people. And whatever comes out of that, be it video, performance, installation, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that how do I engage with these relationships in my life that feeds into a evolving art practice. When you think about a glossary, you think of a list of words that's in text and it's in a book, and it's very concrete and stable. But when human beings use a glossary, we sometimes might interpret words incorrectly or we can deliberately stuff these glossaries up. And to me, that openness is what really excites me. The first room that people will probably encounter is a big shirt room. And as I was developing this work with Budi Sadato, and we wanted to bring in also queer voices and what it felt like to be different from both your family and your language group, different to the queer community that we have moved to here. You know, people from Indonesia coming to Australia, how, how can we educate them with the Indonesian community here? Mm. Sayangnya komunitas Indonesia di Australia. When you think about each shirt, there's a sense of individuality. But at the end of the day, when you connect them from button to buttonhole, they form a coalition. And to me, part of being a human being is finding your connections, but also finding your own individuality and your own sense of self within the collective. The second gallery is where you have open glossary. Basically, it's our work of protest within the art gallery. We try to keep the glossary open, but due to broader social movements that are really anti-trans and anti-migrants and anti-queer people at the moment, we've just put it on hold. There's a guard of angels that's embroidered. Whenever there's a memorial or a protest that queer people are in attendance, often there's protests against queer people. And so a lot of allies ended up in our history creating these big costumes in the shape of large angels to shield and to block out those haters. And there's a big drop sheet at the end of a multilingual message of hope. In Gallery 3 is the meeting place. From China to Vietnam, the word hui or hui represents a longhouse, a place where everyone comes to congregate. And that idea flows all the way through Hawaii where hui hui is a place where people come together. Symbolically, this place is where Tamsin and I have come together to create our own ceremonial space and to human in, in a place that's quite not human. That leads into the room with Kate Tamburin. This is the space for both young people and old people and anyone to think through really salient political ideas at the moment. The main theme around this is allowing children to develop their own language, to give them the opportunity to talk about these things in, in a future that's much more respectable than what we're going through right now and much more kind. The commission that was a collaboration between ACCA, the Australian Centre for Contemporary Art, and the Copyright Agency has been an incredible opportunity for me. It's really allowed me to think through forms of opening up not only this glossary, but also opening up my practice and really being able to work in a way that I haven't before with a lot of different collaborators.